Hi, this video will show you how to fax something directly from your computer to any 10-digit fax number in the United States, or really any fax number in the world if your account is set up for long distance. So how you're going to do that is you're going to use the Zoltus fax printer, and you're going to print to this notional printer, which is a virtual printer, there's no physical printer hooked up to your computer. But once it goes to that pro software program called the Zoltus printer, then it is going to be queued up to be faxed out to your destination. So now I'm going to show you how to do that. So here we are getting ready to fax something using our computer. I have no fax machine set up on this computer except for the Zoltus software system which will allow me to fax from the computer. First thing I need is a document to fax so I'm going to use a Word document. I made this Word document simply by starting a new document and typing in some words. And remember what I said, you basically print to the Zoltus printer and that queues it up to be a fax. So let's print it. Remember, we have to select the Zoltus fax. This is the Zoltus fax. That is the key to this whole process. Once you get that selected, everything else is prompted. And then this will pop up. If this doesn't pop up, occasionally that will happen when this doesn't pop up. Simply shut down Mixi and start it back up again. It's uh, unusual for this not to pop up. But the next thing you want to do is enter in the fax number, which is the number of your recipient. Let's fax this to University Air Center. So I'm going to go find University Air Center's fax number off their website, and there it is. Copy it. And paste it right there. Boom. Now we have a fax number to send it to. I'm going to click Next and you can select a fax cover page if you'd like. You don't have to do this. And keep in mind that this is on top of whatever you're faxing. So if you already have a cover page built into the document, you don't need a cover page. But if you'd like, you can select something like this and then change the number. You can put a 2, um, uh, Marianne maybe, and it'll change that to Marianne company, UAC. This is from UAC to UAC, which is kind of um, pointless, but we can title this Test Facts Demonstrate the System, and then that would be on the cover page. So you can make this cover page the way you want it, and then you can change these numbers if you like it as well. Or you can simply not have a cover page. Change the resolution. I usually leave all this exactly the same. I don't mess with any of it. Just click Next. When you want to send it, this is if you want to send it at a later date. Maybe they said, please fax this at 8 a.m. in the morning. Or for some reason you think that people are not going to check their fax unless they are there to actually hear the machine running. You can be sneaky and you can schedule it for tomorrow and do something like that or whenever you want. Or you can just send it now. I always just send it now because most people check their fax and if I'm going to send it to them they better be checking it or why bother, right? So next and now it wants you to confirm everything looks right and I'm going to click finish. So here we go. And nothing happens after you send it. You may be wondering did it actually go? Um, how am I going to know if it actually happened correctly? Well the answer is Fax takes a little bit of time, and your system is it's queued up. It's actually calling that analog number, um, and it is sending the fax. So we just have to wait for it to finish. It can take <clears throat> several minutes. If it has to try multiple times, it can take five or ten minutes. Usually it's about a minute or two. And then you'll get a little notification in the bottom right portion of the screen. I'll show you that notification once it's finished. And there it is. Okay, this happened so fast that I was actually not able to move the 
window to capture it. So I'm just going to show you what it would have looked like in another picture here. This little blog entry that I actually made for the just demonstrating this also has it. You'll see this this thing right down below it. Uh, in the bottom right hand portion of your screen, fax, Microsoft Office, Outlook, Memo has been successfully sent to the CSR desk or whoever your recipient was. And that's how you'll know that it actually went. Another way you can check is you can go to here. Oops. Pull that out of there. You can go to here and look at fax, outgoing fax, sent fax. And we can just open that up and see that it was, in fact, uh, sent because it's in the sent folder. Just like your email, if it's in the sent folder, it actually went. And you can blow it up, do whatever you want to do. Uh, I'm just shrinking it down to fit. But there's two ways to know if something was actually sent. One way is to look, watch for this little indication in the bottom right hand screen. Once you're comfortable with it, you'll start trusting that, that this is actually lets you know when it's good. Another way, when you're in the beginning and you're not sure you're doing it right, is you can go to the sent folder of your fax and take a look to see if you've actually sent it correctly. So those are the two ways, and I hope this helps. One more thing, there is no need to wait for a fax to be finished being sent to send out another fax. You can queue up 10 faxes and the system will take care of it and send them out sequentially one by one until they're all sent. People can do this at UAC and it will take care of scheduling everything so that it all goes out as soon as it can. So just to let you know about that. Okay, so the big takeaway is anything that you can print, you can also fax if you have Mixi. Let's say you have a PDF and you need to fax that PDF. All you have to do is print, print the PDF to your Zoltus fax. You don't need to print it out on a physical printer and scan it back in and then send it to those Ultus fax or go to the CSR desk and stand there while you feed it into that machine. Lots of people are confused about this and I have seen people at UAC print things out on paper and then feed it back into a fax machine when they have Mixi and the capability to do it directly from their desk. This is wastes UAC money because it puts wear and tear on our printers. We already spend thousands of dollars a year uh, repairing and replacing and buying ink for. All you have to do is just fax it from your computer electronically. There never needs to be a physical intermediary for you to get something like a digital document, like a PDF or a TIFF file or a Microsoft Word document or even an email from that digital format into a fax and directly out to the recipient. So just keep that in mind. If you can print it, you can fax it directly. Thanks.